two U.S. senators are pushing for the transfer of two U.S. Iron Dome defense system batteries to Ukraine, Apuva Mahajan reports in Aviation Week, on June 23. Senators Chris Van Hollen and Lindsey Graham wrote a letter to Senate Armed Services Committee Chairman Jack Reed, Democrat Rhode Island, and ranking member Senator Roger Wicker, Democrat Mississippi, asking the committee to enable the equipment transfer. Let us remind that Iron Dome is a mobile all-weather air defense system developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, and Israel Aerospace Industries. It is designed to intercept and destroy short-range rockets and artillery shells fired from distances of 4 km (2.5 miles) to 70 km (43 miles) away. From 2011 to 2021, the United States contributed a total of 1.6 billion US dollars to the Iron Dome defense system, with another 1 billion US dollars approved by the US Congress in 2022. In October 2022, the Ukrainian government sent Israel an official request to provide it with air defense systems including Iron Dome to counter Russian missiles and drones of Iranian origin. But Israel has not provided Ukraine with weapons since the war started. On its side, the first U.S. Army Iron Dome battery has completed new equipment training and is ready for deployment, according to General Daniel Kabler, commanding general of U.S. Army Space and Missile Defense Command. The other one is wrapping up its new equipment training right now. So the Army does have one, Iron Dome battery, available for deployment pending a request, Kabla told the Senate Armed Services Strategic Forces Subcommittee May 9. Israel has blocked the transfer to date. If Israel does not change attitude, Senators Chris Van Hollen and Lindsey Graham suggested the possibility of moving the U.S. Iron Dome batteries to a different U.S. ally under U.S. Supervision so air defense systems owned by the third country could be freed for Ukraine. 